we've been following the Crozier fire, the park fire. Tracy, yeah. if we can talk about the air quality. Yeah, air quality. So that's something that comes along with wildfires right. and that's something that we're all too accustomed with. But we're going to take a look at the latest air quality and kind of tell you which areas we're going to be watching. And we got more kids going to school. More kids are going to be outside. They got outdoor activities, so we got more things to consider, right? Headlines, new fire in El Dorado County coming in right now around 182 uh, acres that began in the overnight hours. We do have elevated fire weather today. We got winds picking up out of the afternoon around out of the southwest around 15, 25 miles per hour. That will be for this afternoon as well as into this evening. And we also have more triple digit highs. Yesterday we hit 104. Today we're in the exact same ballpark. We've had more than 30 triple digit days already this summer. And a break from the heat is coming. If I thought it was appropriate, I'd do a little jig. That's just how excited I am about that. Here's a look at your air quality. So everything in the yellow is moderate air quality. Everything in the green, hey, you're good to go. But you can see the farther to the north, we're looking at some pockets of unhealthy air quality. And that's going to be the areas that are associated with the park fire. So it's more than 400,000 acres. So you know it's kicking off a lot of smoke, right? And you can see where all that smoke is going. Winds are coming in out of the southwest pushing everything to the north as well as to the northeast. Now, here you go. Here's the Crozier fire. This one's in El Dorado County. That's going to be pushing a lot of that smoke right into the South Lake Tahoe area. That'll be this evening as well as tonight. And as these fires uh, continue to grow and Cal Fire continues to battle them, we'll be looking at ongoing air quality issues. Central Valley today. Now let's talk about the heat. 104 in Lodi, 104 in Stockton. Unfortunately, I think we've grown accustomed to these hot temperatures, right? 105 in Manteca, 106 uh, coming in from Modesto. Sacramento Valley today, 105 in Wilton, 103 in Elk Grove, 104 in Sacramento, 105 in Rio Linda, and 106 in Yuba City. Now you get to Lincoln and Roseville. So hot temperatures, you start to move up in elevation. And even in Colfax, it's still hot, 99 degrees, 95 in Forest Hill. Mid to upper 80s coming in for the Sierra. Now take a look at Placerville and Pollock Pines because this is uh, one of the one of the few areas where you're going to get actual readings near the Crozier fire. And I'm showing it to you because I just want you to know winds are picking up this afternoon through El Dorado County and it's going to be hot as well as temperatures will near 100 degrees yet again. Temperature outlook for the next six to 10 days. OK, so we know the heat is on in the south, but what about us? <gasps> dare I say we could be cooling down? I dare, I dare. Take a look at your seven day forecast. So upper 90s coming in Friday and Saturday, Sunday mid 90s, 90 on Monday, upper 80s on Tuesday. If only I had the power to look past Tuesday and show you what's in the forecast. <laughs> I do. Take a look at this. We got temperatures in the upper 80s Friday and Saturday. So if you've been looking for a break from the heat, don't worry. Next week, that's your week. I'm looking forward to it myself. For, for the per, from the person with no AC, I was looking forward to that break. <laughs> Tracy, thank you.